Hi, I'm Stuart Johnson. I'm the Vice President of the Environmental Club. And what we are doing today is we're installing storm drain decals across Widener's campus. Um, in areas like Chester, in urban environments, we run an increased risk of water contamination due to our high population. So it is our goal to bring awareness and educate the public um, about water contamination. So one of the things we did was use our high accuracy GPS antennas and the students came out and they located every single storm drain on Widener's campus and there were 130 different points so we have 130 separate storm drains. We were then able to take a uh, raster image of the campus pretty much an aerial photograph of the campus and discriminate between impervious surface areas like roadways, sidewalks, parking lots, rooftops from other areas like lawn, grass, or uh, tree vegetation. Uh, when you do that, you can then run what's called the TR-55 computer model, which will calculate the amount of runoff from those surfaces uh, and actually give you a quantity. Uh, so we took a typical one inch intensity uh, storm, we calculated the runoff, and then using the EPA regulations on uh, uh, water quality, uh, we figured out that less than one cup of oil um, that was dumped down a storm drain would contaminate all of the runoff here on Widener's campus. We wanted to do something on Widener's campus that we can actually inform students about. We have the recycling bins, but there's not a lot that people know about storm drains. And with the tip cards that we get, it just has information that people normally wouldn't know from day to day life about, I guess, why it's important to be aware of stuff that you litter.